Okay, today I'm going to show you how to get iNav that's an iPhone theme, but now it's modified for your iPod Touch. So this is the theme. If you look in the description, there will be two links. One is for the original iNav, which is like a bluish, and then there's the red version. That's the one I have right now. So also, if you look in the description, you're going to want to download those apps out of Cydia or IC or Installer, whichever you use. Get those four things. And once you've downloaded those, you're going to want to go into your categories. It should have created an icon when you downloaded that. You're going to want to open it up, categories, and make two. You hit add right there, and you'll make two different ones. One called apps, one called games, exactly like that. So in the games folder, of course, you're going to put all your games that you have, your games only. And then in your apps folder, you're going to put everything else all your other icons that aren't games except you're going to want to leave out iPod, your music player, settings, mail, safari, and photos. And you want to make sure that you don't actually only put the apps folder in the games and the games folder in the apps folder. So once you get those hit home and then this should respring. Okay, now once it's resprung, you're now going to want to go into another, the iBlink, which should have created an icon when you downloaded that. So I'll go to iBlink, and you're going to want to create, what this does is create transparent icons. You'll see what that means in a second. And you're going to want to create 63, so there's 16 down there. If you can see, you're going to want to hit 16 a few times, and then whatever other ones, to add up to a total of 63 blank icons that you make. So once you do that, you'll hit home and let it respring and everything. Your your springboard might start looking kind of weird. But now let me just show you how to set it up. Let me take this theme off real quick. Let this respring. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is if you hold an app down, all these wiggle things will come up like that. And the way you set this up, it has to be exactly right, is you have to have ten blank icons, as you see, four, four, then two, and then the actual app. It doesn't matter if you have any afterwards, I guess those are just extra. You have to have ten and then the app. And the app order, it goes mail on the first page, so ten and then mail. And then on second page, 10 before and then Safari. The third page, 10 before and then iPod. Your, Oops, that switched around. Then on the next page, Photos. 10 before that and Photos. Then on the next page, 10. And then your Games category that you made. And then 10 and your Apps category that you made. And then you should have three left over. You put those three in your dock and leave your Settings in the bottom right. So once you get it set up all like that, you can hit home like that, and now you're going to have to actually SSH the theme into your iPod Touch. So if you download one of the files, like I did right here, you can open it up, and then you're going to click on iNav Public Beta, and you should have four folders. See, there's iNav Beta, Web Clips, DS Store, and Readme. You don't really need to worry about DS Store and Readme. The only two you're going to want to use is iNav and Web Clips. So once you do that, open up your SSH. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video on that. So let me log in. So once you log in, you're going to want to get to this area, private slash var be able to find that. Once you're there, you're going to want to open up the folder Stash, then Themes. And these are all your themes, and what you would do now is, I'm going to make this smaller, you would drag this whole folder right here, iNav Public Beta, drag and drop it over here. I already have it 
dragged over there, so I'm not going to redo that. But you would just drag and drop it in there and hit copy or whatever and let it copy in there. So then once that's copied in there, let me just make this bigger again. You can you want to go back up, all the way back up to private slash var again. And now you're going to want to go down, find the folder mobile, open up mobile, library, web clips. And this will probably be empty. And what you're going to do is, let me make this smaller once again. You're going to open up your web clips folder and highlight all those. Every single one, there's a lot. All those. And you're going to drag and drop them and copy them into that folder too. And once you've done that, you should be able to end your session after you've done those two things. You can exit out of your SSH and your folder, and you open up, go back to your iPod and open it up. Your your thing should still like, look like all like this. So now go to where your winner board is. It's my apps folder, apps category. Go to your winner board and hit, you have to check the iNav beta, the whatever you have, you should see it, and then you have to check no undocked icon labels. Those two things. Hit home. Let it respring. Replenishing power levels. And now here it is. Initiating unlock. It's really cool. You remember your settings is down there, so if you click that little circle thing so you can get to that. And um there's Oh, and if you look, one of the things that you download was Mobile Music Player Flip. Let me just show you what that is. All that does is allow you to access your videos from like your iPod app. So here's all your songs. And then you can hit videos. I don't have any videos, but there would be your videos. That's all that mu Mobile Music Player Flip. So now you have iNav on your iPod Touch.